I grew up in Manassas, Virginia, and so I went to the Prince William County Public Schools up until um, undergrad at Syracuse University in upstate New York, and then apprenticeship back in Manassas at uh, Manassas Granite Marble, and then I came to Baltimore for school at the Reinhardt School of Sculpture at the Maryland Institute College of Art. And, um, you know, I showed an interest in art from a very young age, and so that meant my family always bought me art books for Christmas and birthdays. And um, in retrospect, that was actually really cool, even though I know I didn't appreciate it at the time. Um, but I was always most attracted to the marble sculptures. They just seemed the coolest. And I thought, I want to make that kind of stuff. It seems really difficult to do. And, you know, the challenge made it attractive. I think in my own personal work, certainly reflects basically like what I'm interested in at the time and a lot of my background and the work that I've done before. So while stone definitely has that kind of baggage of monument and memorial and memory, um, I do try to incorporate that into the work that I'm doing, but focus on things that I think are not focused on enough um, by either artists or memorial or monument makers. So a lot of it, you know, recently has kind of reacted to the contemporary news cycle where I see stuff that I'm just blown away by or things that I think are particularly awful or egregious and think, all right, well, it's incumbent on me to focus on that stuff in my own work and kind of point it out in a way that is, uh, in a sense, permanent, um, where I'm making kind of smaller memorials to things that are atrocities, for instance, that I think are important. Stone sculpture has a real association with like the macabre, with death and negativity and depression and memorial. And so I think it's interesting to address something that is funny or humorous in the material um, to do something that you wouldn't really expect. So while we would expect to see a you know white marble sculpture of a dead guy, you wouldn't necessarily see or expect to see a white marble sculpture of a Muppet or something like that. Um, and then that's a good way to kind of get people's attention and let it seem approachable and interesting, and then hopefully carry through like a message with that. 